In this session, we're going to take a look at printing high end simulated process with a reduced number of colors. Actually, one color in a black. We're also going to take a look at how we can print on a black shirt without using the black ink, but using the black of the shirt. To get started here, I'm going to go ahead and left click on my aliens graphic and I'll drag this here into my Inkcept browser page and just release this. Now, this is another high resolution, rather large file, about 10 by 13 at 300 dpi. So, being that big, it'll take minute for it to open as it would in any application. Go ahead and read the file and then generate our separations. And go ahead and do my analysis here. My original and my separations are absolutely identical. I also look at my layers here and see there's a lot of color that I'm not going to need. So go ahead and select my red here and I can delete that. Select my yellow and delete that. Select the green, we'll go ahead and delete that. And then we can go ahead and delete the magenta. So we have left is black, blue, and cyan. Now I can look at this and say to myself, well, do I want to print the cyan and the blue? I can still get a good look, I think, working with just an Azure. So I'll come over here to my blue and I'll just click on this arrow and merge that down into my cyan. And I'll select my cyan and I'll come here to my fill bucket tool. I'll change that to Azure. Go ahead and close that. I can see that blue now. Now we're not exact to the original. But we're still going to get a really good high quality print with that kind of blue design effect that we see it's very popular in t-shirt printing. We'll also come to my Azure here and just make a slight adjustment on that blue to strengthen that up a little bit. And I'll bring this up to about, say, five or so and select Apply. And I'll come over here to Downloads. Go ahead and name this as Aliens and save the file. Now I'll start to package my layers into the zip file that I'll need to use my ink steps and porter to bring my color separations into Corel Draw and have tone rip those. And because of the size of the file here, it's going to take just a minute. Bring sense to process all the different layers into the grayscale color separations for the zip file. Once that's done, I can go ahead and select OK. That'll download instantaneously. Then I can open up my Corel Draw here. Go to my advanced tools. I'll go to my Inkcepts Importer. I'll go to Search. I can select Aliens. Go ahead and open that. We'll click on Import and Rip. And that'll import our graphic and our color separations directly into Corel Draw for us. Once that's done, I'll have my halftone ripping options. Go ahead and change these to 55 LPI. We'll print at a little bit of a higher DPI or a little bit of better resolution for more detail in our print. I'll leave everything alone except for my black. I'll go ahead and interlock that. Select all black and then I'll go ahead and click on halftone rip and then I'll process my halftone rip color separations for me directly in Corel Draw. Once my ink steps importer has finished processing my halftone color separations for me in Corel Draw, I'll go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to go to my object manager and I'm going to go ahead and click here. I'm going to take my white highlight and I'm going to move that down beneath the Azure just so that I can select the black and the Azure. Now, if I was going to print on a white t-shirt with this graphic, I could select just my black and my Azure, or hold down shift and select the black. Left click, right click one time, duplicate this. Go ahead and take this and we'll zoom in and take a look here. And we can see that our blue is interlocking half tones with our black. So we're not stepping on any color here. If I was printing on a white, we can take a look at how this would look. We'll go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300 DPI, don't need a transparent background. We'll leave anti-aliasing on, select OK, and we'll let that process. Once that's finished processing, we can see the quality of the print that we're going to get here working with just two colors, black and azure. To get a little better preview, I can go to bitmaps, I'll go to blur, and I'll go to Gaussian blur, one pixel, select OK. And you can see the quality of the print that we're going to get working with the interlocking halftones of just the azure and the black, yet still getting a very photorealistic, high-end looking piece of art. Now, if I'm going to print on a black garment, and let's say I don't want to print the black, go ahead and delete this. And we'll go back here, and I'll take the black, go ahead and delete that. Now I've got that removed. I'll go ahead and create a rectangle around this for my black background just to show you how this would work. And I'll fill that with black and I'll go ahead and right click that and I'll select order and I'll go to back of page. Now that I've got that set up, I can go ahead and take this and I'll select both of these 
and I'll just go again to my bitmaps, convert to bitmap, but this time I'll go with a transparent background. I'm not going to have any black here. We'll go ahead and click on OK. We'll let that process. Now you can see that we still have some remnants of the one bit bitmaps that we had for our halftone color separations, but we can go ahead and fix that. We'll just go to bitmaps, blur, and we'll select Gaussian blur, one pixel, select OK, and that's what our print would look like on the black. Now, one of the things that we want to be aware of is the fact that we would have used dot gain in setting up our separations for screen printing because of dot gain issues. And one of the things we want to do, even after that, concerning our white base, there is a trick that I use so that I can preserve the fade of the color into the garment without having the white peek through. And I'll show you that trick right now. What I do is I go to my white base, go ahead and select that, and I'll bring my ink seps and porter back up. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. So we can see what's going on. We'll move this over on our halftone dots. And I'm going to have this selected, and I'm going to go ahead and choke this. I'm going to choke it once. That's going to choke all those halftone dots back one pixel. And you can see that our dots just got smaller. And sometimes I'll actually do it a second time. Because we're working with very opaque inks with our ink step inks, we're going to get very bright pop from the color in our inks and the white base is not going to be peeking out and then we're going to get that look that we're looking for where we see all of this fading into the black so we don't have to print the black on a black garment. So in this session we've covered how to reduce our colors, make some changes, still get that high-end look printing with just a few colors. For those of us who are limited on our press colors this is very important and you really want to be able to print and output graphics like this from your shop Learn how to work with a limited number of colors, pick the graphics you can work with, and get things out of your shop that aren't that vector look. You want that real high-end look that gives you that competitive advantage in your local market. We'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll continue in our next session.